all right welcome back so today this video is going to be about how to change the hydraulic hose on the back of your gimbal to your trim pump on a volvo penta sx cobra um, gim um, gimbal hose first of all yes you cannot change this hose on um with this mounted onto the boat because it's very difficult with actually the 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 motor plate right here you'd have to take that off and you'd have to take that gimbal out in order to to access these o's the problem with my o's last time i was working on this like about maybe about last two season working at a grinder and I end up grind out piece of the hose and now it start to bubble and start to leak. So I get this hose. This hose was ordered directly from Volvo Penta. You know, so this is the hose, the hydraulic hose. So I'm showing you how to change this hose. Uh, properly change this hose. Um, come with these little tabs on them. Alright, so to properly change these O's, so this end goes to the back of your gimbal and the other end will go to your trim pump. And this is um, the other O's. So this one um going to be to the bottom. And if you look on the trim pump, so... This side is the up, this side is the up, and this side is the down. So the up hose goes to the, the bottom port right here. This is where the up hose go to. If you look, the up hose go to the bottom. And also, in order to get to this, um, I try to use like a flare wrench. You, you have no access back here. The flare wrench is too big. So you got to use a 11 millimeter um, open inch wrench uh, to get to it. And also, you got to remove this stud right here. You know, you got to remove this stud because there's no way. Worry, let me put back the stud. You could actually get to move a wrench back here with the stud there. So you gotta remove this stud, you know. It was pretty tight, so I apply a little bit of heat, remove this gasket, it's a new gasket. And I got some these on the end of these things. There should be O-rings. I got some overpriced o rings right here that I get at the local automotive store, you know. They're pretty overpriced, but I need them. So so oh you do this. So I'm gonna wet this O-ring in a little bit of um I'm gonna put it on right here, right on the tip, just like that. And I'm gonna wet it in a little bit of transmission fluid. Yeah. So when I'm putting on this, it don't damage. And also I'm gonna change the old O-ring for the other one. So so they're pretty beat up, so I'm not going to reuse them. I'm going to stick them on just like that. Ooh. A little bit of spill. So, as it says, the upside of the pump, you want to put it in the bottom port right here, as though it was before. I'm going to do it like this. Make sure it's properly seated. Just like that. Let me use your 11 millimeter 
opening wrench and I'm going to tighten it up. Just make sure that the wrench fit on properly. Okay, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to um, strip this. Um, you don't want to strip this um, flare out. Alright, feel pretty tight to me. And then the other one. I'll come across just like that on the top. So this is the new line shred it in just like that there's not much space to work with especially with this hose on Try to get it from the other side. Where did the o ring go? Oh, the o ring fell off. Doesn't seem like it fit exactly as the old O's. These are the reasons why I said that you c these are another reason why you couldn't do this with this in the boat because there's no working space back here. You know. Tool fell.
so there's not enough space back here to actually put a wrench to actually properly tighten this so it's like very difficult so that can fit the wrench properly. first, properly catch it. Another shop towels, I gotta use some house paper towel. You know. So, this is how you properly swap out these O's if you have these. These O's they normally run forever because they don't normally um, expose the element like um, the ones that to the. If you look in these right here. I got a little bit of weather crack in these kind of stress crack so I need to change out these one for the 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 hydraulic ram yeah but they come with like there are four O's in total two on each side and they're like three hundred dollars which is like pretty expensive you know everything that says the word marine are super expensive yeah and this hose was pretty expensive uh, let me get that paper with a pot number real quick so if you guys happen to run into the same situation like me this hose is broke uh, very, it's kind of very hard to source them online, but um, my local marine shop ordered this for me from Volvo Penta, and this is a Volvo Penta part number 385 385 3825. 385 3825. It's a Volvo part number for that hydraulic hose, the ones that are right behind. And they actually both O's they're actually the same back here. Same part numbers, so they're actually the same. You know. But these ones they are not the same, different size, different length, longer flare. And then no uh, you put back your mounting bolt for your gimbal housing. Put it back in. So you definitely got to remove this bolt in order to operate the wrench back here to properly um, change those flares.
Number 16, actually. Yeah, you put two nuts on there, put two of the mounted nuts on it, and then it spread them in just like that. To actually tighten it, you want to um, put a wrench on the outside one. <laughs> 